In this video, we'll be talking about quadrantal angles and trig functions. Up till now, we've been defining our trig functions in terms of a right triangle. Let's review those. The sine of theta is defined as opposite over hypotenuse, so it will be y over r. Cosine of theta is defined as adjacent over hypotenuse, so it would be x over r. And tangent is defined as opposite over adjacent. So we'll have y over x. Now our quadrantal angles are the angles that lie on the axes. So 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, and so on. So those basically are the angles that lie on the axis. Now, if we have a quadrantal angle, you can see that we can't draw a triangle because it's flat. <laughs> so we have to think of our trig functions a little bit differently. What we'll do is think of r is the distance from the origin to the point. So that works with our right triangles. R is the distance from the origin to the point at the end of the vector. So for quadrantal angles, we'll be, we have to use that because we don't have a right triangle. So let's just look at zero degrees. Our point is here, and we can think of that as any distance we want from the origin because the ratios will still be the same. Uh, for convenience, let's think of this uh, point as having coordinates 1, 0. This means that x is 1, y is 0, and r, which is the distance from the origin to the point, in this case, since we defined it as coordinates 1, 0, r is going to be 1. Now if we look at our trig functions with these values, we can see that the sine of 0 degrees still is y over r, but y is 0 and r is 1. Therefore, the sine of 0 degrees is equal to 0 over 1, which is 0. The cosine of 0 degrees we know is x over r. But using our 
values for this point, we see that x is 1 and r is 1. Therefore, the cosine of 0 degrees is 1. And then tangent of 0 is defined as y over x. And using our values for our quadrantal angle, y is 0 and x is 1. Therefore, the tangent of 0 degrees is 0. Let's do 90 degrees. Ninety degrees is going to be a point on the positive y-axis. Again, for convenience, we can let that distance be 1. And the coordinates of this point then is 0, 1. So we see that x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 and r is the distance from the origin to the point, so r is 1. So our cosine of 90 degrees is x over r, and x is 0, r is 1, Therefore, the cosine of 90 degrees is equal to 0. Sine of 90 degrees is, sine is defined as y over r. So, our values for 90 degrees, y is 1, r is 1. So our sine of 90 is equal to 1. Tangent of 90 is defined as y over x for our 90 degree angle. y has a value of 1 x has a value of 0. Now, division by 0 is undefined, so we have to state then that the tangent of 90 is undefined. Let's do a few problems with quadrantal angles. Evaluate three times the tangent of one eighty for a hundred and eighty degrees. Our point is over here. We can give that for convenience sake coordinates negative one zero. This means x is negative 1, y is 0, and r is still the distance from the origin to the point. Distance is always positive, so our r value is 1. So this problem then becomes 3 times, and we want the tangent using these values. Tangent is defined as y over x. So y is 0, x is negative 1. So our problem then becomes 3 times 0, which is 0. Do another one. Evaluate. Four times the tangent of 270 
270 is going to be a point down on the negative y-axis. We'll give it coordinates 0, negative 1. So we can see that x is 0, y is negative 1, and r is the distance from the origin to the point, so that's going to be 1. r is always a positive 1. So our problem then becomes 4 times tangent is defined as y over x, so y is negative 1, x is 0. This ratio is undefined, so our problem will be undefined.